Well, to celebrate our 20th anniversary of Lakeland News, we are taking a look back at some of the memorable local stories we've covered over the years. We're calling it 20 for 20, 20 stories in all, one for each of the 20 years we've been on the air with Lakeland News. Tonight, we look back at the year 1999. It was a year marked by the passing of the man considered the father of public television in northern and central Minnesota. John Yord worked tirelessly to start the station now known as Lakeland PBS, and without him, this station and this newscast we're now celebrating may not have ever happened. I got uh, cranked up about educational television so much that I, well, I never got uncranked. It became like one of my children. This thing has to go for five years. I spent my nights, my weekends, my vacations on educational television. We had to raise $1.7 million. Shortly after John's death in 1999, Lakeland PBS established the John Yord Pillar Award in his honor. It's given to an outstanding volunteer of public television during the station's annual board meeting each year. So far, 19 people have been honored with the John Yord Pillar Award. And you can watch reporter Gene Noyeski's entire story on John Yord from 1999 on our website, lptv.org, tomorrow. Next Wednesday night, we take a look back at a story from the year 2000. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.